Hello friends, like always a tutorial from the very startup up to a small goal. The goal today is to simulate barn door light and you see lots of them in the Google image search. Basically it's a light source with four flaps around it. Nothing really fancy but very useful in 3D computer animation of course and that's why we'll dive into it. We create a new scene with a gigantic sphere and really big. We move it a little bit to the side and now we point a spotlight onto it and we need a spotlight in order to use the barn door effect. Lights, ambient light, point light, spotlight. So the spotlight sits here and in order to see the effect in the viewport we can click here and when we rotate our light now like this we see the effect of the light however it's not going to be rendered in Arnold properly because the intensity is not enough anyway so this is a pretty straightforward light and we'll angle it like this like over here we need to raise the Arnold intensity here and it's this is the spotlight attribute section here we don't care about this because this is Maya rendering basically uh, except for maybe the penumbra angle which makes a soft angle but we'll keep it pretty unsoft like this actually the drop off is quite nice to see here uh, but we go down to Arnold uh, you might have to open this section here, Arnold, and we increase the ex exposure to, well, say a value of 10 and render it again and we keep the rendering window open. Uh, in order to see the whole sphere, let's create another light, which is not important for this tutorial really. Uh, a sky dome light which wraps around the whole scene set its value to 0 0.1 so it's a very dim kind of light and map the color to a ramp which goes from red to white for example so when we render it now this is what we have we see sort of the surrounding of the of the sphere now we get to the barn door let's leave this window open here Actually, the color here is pretty horrible. Let's go back to the ramp and make this a little bit more like this. Thank you. Um, okay, we go back to the light here. And down in the Arnold section, you have light filters. And when you click on Add, you can add several kinds of filters. Uh, a gobo, a barn door, a light blocker and light decay and we'll go for the barn door today. Add. So it's sitting here. You can double click it to get to the attributes or you just find it up here. So it has no shader, It's not. it won't be rendered, only its effect will be rendered. Now these are the values for the flaps really and <laughs> they have funny names like top left, okay top right, top edge, but then left top, left bottom, left edge, etc. You just need to play with the parameters here. Let's try out something. Top left, 0 0.2. It can be a value between 0 and 1. So 0 0.2 opens or closes the flap just a little bit, like this. Here it is. We can do the same with the top right, and it depends on how the um, light is currently oriented. Now we can do the same with the bottom left uh, and it's uh, set to a value of 1 instead of 0. That's a bit strange but if we want to have the same am amount we need to subtract 0 0.2 from 1.0 so 0 0.8 so it comes down from the bottom now and the same thing here. Don't blame me for this kind of mathematical process we need here. So. Um, we can do the same now here, the left top 0 0.2. You see now it walks in here and the left bottom right here and 
finally the right top 0 0.8 again and 0 0.8 that's basically all we need if we want softer edges we need to use the edges and we have four parameters here top edge bottom edge left edge and right edge so for example if we raise the blur uh, well this value here it will be will get more blurred 0 0.05 for example you have this sweet little blur here and uh, well let's do the same for the bottom edge bottom edge 0 0.1 maybe makes it stronger the influence here so uh, this is the light effect you have now when you move the light in the scene of course this will have all nice effects here it's very simple to render in real time and well you don't see it here at least I don't see it here it has to do I think with the viewport 2.0 maybe you find it out but uh, basically this is what the barn door is about you don't see it here but it's gonna be rendered okay bye bye